I'm trying to figure out how to get it to work. I got all this new camera stuff in the mail from Amazon, like tripods and just like things like that. And I feel like a YouTuber now. Now I feel like I have, I have it together, I feel like. I've literally just been filming every single day this week and I don't even know what content's going in what video. So I'm, I just have been really in the vloggy mood. I've been wanting to share everything with you guys. So I've just been filming every single day. Um, I think today is gonna be an exciting day though because I think I'm gonna actually drive to Denver today for the first time. I haven't been since we've been here. We drove through Denver and we've been to the Denver airport several times, but we haven't like actually like went and explored and walked around and stuff. Um, there's like a few styling videos that I want to get up for you guys. Like I want to start doing some more fashion stuff because I've been so inspired by spring fashion. So I've been wanting to go check out Zara. There's like a few things from Aritzia I would love to get for the video. So I think I'm going to go do that because we don't have those stores here in Fort Collins. Dylan's at work all day and then he's off all weekend. So I figured he wouldn't really want to do like the whole shopping thing, which I totally get. So I think I might go do that by myself today, just have myself a little day. So I thought I would bring you guys along. And then if I don't get enough content today, I think I'm gonna turn this into like a weekend in my life. So we'll do like some content with Dylan and just like some stuff around the house. I asked what you guys wanted to see. And a lot of you were like literally anything home related, like organizing your house, decorating your house, like cleaning your house. So I guess that's what we'll do. <laughs> I made a coffee this morning. I actually made a TikTok. And I posted a reel about it. So if you're not following me over on TikTok, I always have my Amazon shop page, my TikTok, and my Instagram linked down below. And also don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. It really like supports my channel and all of that. You guys know the drill. If you are frequent YouTube watchers, you know that subscribing and stuff really helps. So I think I'm gonna get ready. I need to like wash my face, brush my teeth, all that still. It's always such a battle with me if I wake up wanting coffee really badly. Sometimes I wake up and I'm like, I can wait a few hours to have coffee. But this morning I really wanted coffee and let me know if I'm not, if I'm the only one who does this or if, if you're someone who wakes up right away and has coffee like immediately when you roll out of bed, do you brush your teeth before you have your coffee or do you wait till after? Because I would, I hate not brushing my teeth right when I get out of bed, but then when you brush your teeth and then you drink your coffee right after, it's like, it's like not, that's, it's, that's not it. So that little spring outfit today, I'm super into the little pops of color. So we have a blazer from Zara, super oversized blazer, super cute. This little knit top is from Forever 21. I'll link the whole outfit if they still have the pieces. I got some of these a little bit ago. Um, my scrunchie, I just got this in the mail. It's from Revolve. My little pop of green bags from JWP. And then my shorts are... Revolve, they're a goldie denim. I talked about these in my spring favorites. I've been loving these shorts. Then I'm wearing these new little sneakers from Reebok. I got them off of Amazon in little white Target ankle socks. So little outfit, I really, really like it. Hopefully I can get like a little photo or something. I always struggle taking photos of myself with a tripod. I always need Dylan's help. So we'll see what we get. Yay, I'm so excited. My initial impression of Denver. This is my first time here my whole entire life. Stay and I in the left three lanes. Oh shit. You know, the thing is with cities is that no one lets you over. And it's like, why? 
Like, why don't you just be nice and let people over? Anyways, um, my initial reaction is, I mean, I haven't, I guess I haven't really, like, I don't really know. I've been on the highway now. I'm, like, actually going through the downtown, and it's pretty, but I honestly feel like I prefer Fort Collins. Um, Fort Collins, I feel like, is just as pretty, if not prettier. I feel like we have more of a mountain view, and the traffic like it's only it's 11 o'clock in the afternoon and the traffic is like so bad um so i think i would prefer like where we live and just being able to drive into the city i've never been a city person like i would never be like oh catch me living in the middle of new york city that's just not me and i think that has to do with me growing up in such a small town i just love the feeling of a small town so like i i the neighborhood that our rental home is. Okay, I have got to get around this semi. The rental home that our neighborhood is, the neighborhood that our rental home is in, I love so much. So I'm honestly really happy with how things worked out with us moving here. So in case you guys were wondering about my, uh, is this turn only? All right, we're going into restoration just to look at a few furniture pieces that I wanted to see in person. So I'm super excited that they have one here. Love this. Little Colorado coffee book. I need to get that. Okay, I'm looking at getting one of these chairs to go with my desk, but I don't know if it will fit underneath. I'm like nervous about that. Guys, I am sweating. Please get clear of the door. It is so much hotter outside than I thought it would be. That's good. I'm about to start making dinner. I am so, so hungry, you guys, but I want to switch out my little sink situation, so. And I like this little plant right here. I think it's maybe starting to die. It's basil, fresh basil. Um, but I want to put some nice like soap. So today I went to the Aesop. I don't know if that's exactly how you say it, but it looks like this. Very like bougie, luxury, expensive soap very unnecessary but I have just been wanting to try it out for a while and so I finally went because they had a store in Denver and I ended up getting a set so I got the hand balm and the hand wash super cute bottles and I wanted to just like go in and try them because I was like okay these are expensive I wonder if they're actually worth the hype and I can say that they definitely are. So I got the Resurrection Duet. So this is what the box looks like. You can get just the hand soap. I think it's like 40 something. It's it's like ridiculous, you guys, I know, but I'm not kidding. I washed my hands and I put the hand lotion on following and I was like sold. And it smells very, very good. It has like a mandarin scent, but also like sandalwood slash like masculine slash like I don't even know how to explain it. So now I think it looks super cute on the counter. I really like it right there. That's one little thing I got. I'm about to start cooking dinner. So I'm gonna pick up the kitchen. Dylan's on his way home. We're gonna make probably HelloFresh meal and just hang out. I need to edit a video tonight that I wanna get done before tomorrow because that's when it's due. Some laundry, just the boring stuff. I'm gonna show you guys what I got tomorrow. I'm like exhausted from today and I'm gonna do like a little haul tomorrow for you guys. So I'll pick the camera back up in the morning. Good morning, everyone. Well, I guess it's afternoon. It's like 11.15 or 11.30. I'm heading to go meet, heading to go meet a friend for coffee, actually. I'm meeting a new friend for the first time, which is exciting. We're gonna go to Ginger and Baker. Did I just put that in my mouth? That was a bad idea. I feel like if you live in Fort Collins, you know what Ginger and Baker is. It's like a very well-known shop. They have really yummy coffee, so we're gonna go grab coffee together. And then they also have like, last time I was there, I got a really good cinnamon roll and Dylan and I split it. And I think we ate it in like literally five seconds. It was so good, so. 
that's what's going on. We are going to do a little haul of things I got yesterday. So I'm gonna start out with, Dylan, stop. I'm gonna start off with Zara stuff. I'm not gonna make this a try on just because I'm gonna be doing a styling video with a lot of these pieces. So make sure that you are subscribed, but I'm just gonna go through. I'll also link everything below that I can find. Sometimes Zara's website's a little bit weird. So I got these hot pink waffle joggers. Super cute. I really am into color, you guys. It's strange I know but also the waffle I think is super cute um, just with anything really crop top a crop sweatshirt nice and easy to throw on for like the weekends but still look kind of cute and put together and then I got this top which I love so much I got this in a size small it has a little matching skirt but I ended up just getting the top I want to pair this with um, this like trouser pants that I have so I thought that would be cute I got some new black trouser pants. I love dressing down trouser pants with like a little crop and then some white sneakers. I got these in a size small and they fit perfect. So that's good. Everything I got from Zara ended up fitting, which I'm excited about because their dressing rooms right now are closed, so I was a little bit nervous. And then I got this long green knit dress in a size small. I'm so excited about this as well because I want to put like a white blazer over it with some sneakers. I think that would be a super cute little outfit. And then I got two of these tanks, which I've been seeing all over and I'm really excited about the cut of them. Um, they just go super in like on your neck right here. I got two in a size small. Tried those on, they're really cute. And then last up from Zara, I have this top. I've been loving like open blouses to put over swimsuits but then also just to do like one little button and then leave the rest open to have like your stomach showing. I think that's a really cute little look. Also got this little quarter zip from Aritzia. It's by the brand, it's up in my hair. It's by the brand TNA, which you guys, I love their stuff. I like scored with a pair of sweat shorts I'll show you. These sweat shorts right here are super cute. They're like a lightweight, which I really like because some of them that I tried on in the store were super thick and not very Practical the reason I want sweat shorts is obviously for in the summer because I love my sweat sets you guys know So this is like a better option for the summer. So I picked these up in a medium I'll link them also got a pair of leather pants I went in there because I wanted to get I think it's called the Molina pant Which like I feel like everyone has in the brown color and I just wanted to see if they had them in stock in a size long um, Because they didn't have them on the website for forever and then I ended up going to the fitting room and the worker actually suggested these for me and I love them so much. So I know it's like going into hot weather, but I feel like um, in Colorado during the nighttime, these would still be fine with like a little crop top and some sneakers, but I just love the color. They're by Babaton. I got a size six. They were kind of like a little bit of a splurge, but I really love the fit of them. They're like kind of like that paper bag and then they go into like the tapered leg. So super nice quality i'm really excited to like style those and then and then i also got just a plain white tee i really liked the cut of this because it goes lower on the bottom and it just like is a really all around nice fit and this is by um, babaton as well and it's the same brand and color as my little sweat shorts and i just love buying things in sets it just automatically gives you something to wear with it and just makes it easy on you. This little crew neck also looks cute with the white shorts. And then lastly, I went to Anthropology. I got two new candles from there, which I am so excited about these. I got, packaging is really cute. So I got this one right here. It's the cantaloupe, it smells so good. And when you're done burning these, it's just like a cute little jar you can set on your counter, things like that. And then I also got, I couldn't tell you how to pronounce that, but those are the two little candles I got. I really love them. Of course I go to Anthropology yesterday and pay full price. And then today I get an email saying it's Anthro Day and everything in the store is 20% off. So I actually ordered another one of each online today just because I don't know, lately the Bath and Body Works candles have been giving me such a bad headache and I've tried and tried and every single time I light one, it just fills the room up so much that sometimes it's a little bit too much. So I've been really liking the Anthropology candles and then also Nordstrom has the Nest candles, which I really like as well. So those have been my like go-tos. They're a little bit more of a splurge, but if you can get them on sale, like the Nest candles, I would use my Nordstrom notes. So I would literally get them for like free. And then if you have like a 20% off or something from Anthropology, it's always nice. 
So we're gonna go make some HelloFresh for dinner. Dylan got home early from work today, so we've just been hanging out. It's Friday night. We'll probably have a drink, hang out outside. It's really nice out, so. Tonight for dinner, we are having HelloFresh. I'm so excited about this meal, and I wanna thank HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. I just love how HelloFresh cuts out the stressful meal planning and prep. Um, as you guys know, I was running around all day and I didn't really have time to like think about what to make for dinner. So it's just so nice to be able to reach into the fridge, have everything packed up in one little bag for you. I also love how everything is pre-portioned so there is no waste and there is less prep for you. Also the packaging HelloFresh uses to ship your food is almost entirely made from recyclable or already recycled content. It's also just such a nice way to get out of your recipe rut. Dylan and I always struggle with finding new exciting meals for dinner and HelloFresh always keeps new exciting meals coming straight to the door. Also, I have never had a HelloFresh recipe that I did not enjoy. They're always so, so delicious. So definitely check them out if you have not already. You can go to HelloFresh.com and use my code RATKEY12 to get 12 free meals and that includes free shipping. Again, it is HelloFresh.com. You can use my code RATKEY12, get 12 free meals, and it includes free shipping. So check them out. Thank you, HelloFresh. We love you guys. And yeah. Sit. Sit. No, she didn't sit. 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 Sit down. Winnie, sit down. She doesn't get one. Sit. Sit. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I had to give it to No, her. you can't <laughs> do that. You're going to be that mom that promises their kids something if they get straight A's. And if they get C's, you'll be like, you tried. Mm -mm. <clears throat> and then you'll still go buy them the new pair of shoes for the next school year. Yeah, you're right. I probably will. No, that's not how it works. I just feel bad for her. She's scared of everything. And it makes yeah, because she knows you're going to coddle. Cave. Okay, good morning. We're going to the recycling. Oh, so yeah. many boxes, we've been breaking them down. We're gonna go to recycling. Got them all broken in here. Do you wanna go to the recycling or the dump? You pick. And then look, you guys, all of the back seat is full of boxes and packages and stuff. It's so crazy, but here we go. It's God's country. Nope. Maybe not. We just drove to the recycling center and all of the bins are like closed up and it says that they're open so I have no idea Dylan's going to go find someone. We look so, we look clueless. I mean it is our first time here so, but. We're gonna get a coffee beforehand but there was such a long wait, like the line was out of the door for Bindle so we're just gonna order it on our way back and pick it up and have a relaxing Saturday. I just curled my hair so it looks kind of crazy. So windy. Look, Dylan's so confused. He has like no idea what to do. Did you talk to us? they're closed. We just picked up my favorite coffee. We had to order it online. It was like a 20 minute wait for online orders. I guess it's just a weekend thing, but now we are heading home. I wonder what that is, Dylan. The Barrel House, is that like a brewery? Like their own brewery? I don't know, maybe. I was hoping that the flower truck was here today because I really wanted to get flowers even though I just got a bunch from Trader Joe's, but love a good flower. A lot of the coaches' cool. wives were saying that they live in Buckinghorse, so I guess a lot of them Which is here. where? This neighborhood right here. Oh, really? Yeah, so. Can I U-turn right there? Uh, yeah. Good luck getting right there. I'm not gonna do it. Yeah, I wouldn't do it either. All right, we are making Saturday brunch. It's like a mess. We've got some bacon, and then we're gonna make homemade, um, well, the biscuits aren't homemade. We just simply don't have time for that. Uh, and I'm also not that talented, 
So we got these from Trader Joe's and then we're making homemade gravy. I just have the recipe pulled up on Pinterest. I literally just like Googled a biscuits and gravy recipe. So we'll see how it turns out. We've been like craving biscuits and gravy for like a week now. So I thought we would make it. I've done myself here. This looks so good. Yes, I'm having two and two pieces of bacon. I'm so hungry. Let's do a little taste test. Okay. Doesn't it look good? Do we need to butter the biscuits or anything? No. You couldn't just say excuse me right there? Alright, ready? It's so good. Babe, I should go on Chopped. I feel like I'm a professional chef. Between my Hello Fresh meals and... I'm just really hitting off in the kitchen. <laughs> You're bending it. <laughs> Babe, you're bending the rug. It's gonna me mess it up. We just found a rug from World Market for our bedroom. Someone had returned it from on, they ordered online and they returned it, so we got lucky. It's just another jute rug, surprise. All right, we just we ran. Yeah, we just ran and got this rug. I think I took a clip of Dylan carrying it. And then I also just picked up this new wreath from Target. It's the Studio McGee line. I really liked this for the front door. We still don't have a wreath on our door. And then I also got two packs of these, which one of you guys commented to string some of these. Were you watching football while we were gone? Were you? Okay. I got two sets of these string lights, which I'm really excited about. They're only 15 bucks, the Joanna Gaines collection. It's, um, I almost said at Starbucks, <laughs> at Target. So I got two and we're gonna try to string them across outside where our little patio set is. There's like little beams that go across the top and I thought that would be cute for like at night we could do that. And then what else did I get? These are great for rugs. They just go on the corner, like the outside corners of each corner of the rug obviously and they just stay in place so you don't have to do like a whole entire, um, whatever these things are called those right there which bundle up in like crease anyways is in the bedroom. I think it looks really good. We left it out a long ways because you guys know Winnie's deal with the hardwoods. And then we had to scoot it a little bit closer on my side than Dylan's just so these doors would open. Again, we're working with a very small bedroom, but I figured whenever we move, if we ever get a bigger bedroom or like an actual master suite, that this will look really nice. And I just like the look of having a rug under the bed so the bed is restoration hardware and the rug is world market it was like a final sale thing i think someone had returned it and so we got a major discount on it which is really nice we got the eight by ten so here's a little bedroom a update okay we don't have i thought that this box was electrical but i guess we don't have um an outlet out here for the light so that's a bummer i need to blow off this little porch the pollen right now you guys is real a lot later we are heading out we're gonna go grab drinks with who are we even going with find better lighting for my outfit quick all right i'm gonna go get a truck okay okay this is still bad anyways i'm wearing this little top from aritzia i've had this for like literally ever and i just took the tags off of it i just always forget about it and then these cargo pants are couldn't even tell you the brand. I saw Maggie McDonald post about them and Emma had them on too and they were super, super cute and they have them in green and black. So I got both. I ordered a size small, medium. I can link them. Super cute pants and then just some white sneakers. A ton of gold jewelry. I'm not going to bring the camera but I just wanted to check in. We will talk to you guys in the morning. Hopefully we don't feel hungover. And Winnie has to stay here. We'll miss you. Winnie.